Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's your booth, Ice Booth here, and uh, we are doing Genshin tonight. I have not touched the game since last week, so I have probably missed. I think I, I think the build the dungeon building event has pretty much ended, which is sad because I was just I was I was just kind of like taking a break from everything with Genshin. I was like just tired. But also I really wanted to catch up on like Destiny 2 and also Tears of the Kingdom. It was like just really cool. I was I just really wanted to do everything. Dungeon event still might be available at the moment. Alright, sweet. Uh let's just not be able to do anything. I I don't know what else I what I could do in it aside from uh Yeah, I don't know what I could do with the dungeon event right now because I don't know what what else to like try out. Yeah, but I, Tui, I've done all the stages. I've done all the stages already. Anyways, we're in now. I did all of them. Off stream. Okay, so it's... Oh, for six... I thought it was... I thought it was, like, done this week. Anyways, we got this, and we got this. Oh, I can go to the next event. Thank you for giving me permission. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I need to set my capture up. Sorry, it's been a long week. Anyway, it's time for Feast of the Departed. Mysterious doors open its blahs, and blah blah blah, the threshold is treacherous of blahs to the dangerous blahs of the prowl, waiting for their blah moment to strike. That's so crazy. They just have all of it unlocked from the start. It's crazy how they only like they only gave you like three days to beat this, but they they give you all the stuff to like do immediately. Man, it's great that they do all these. And I totally am not just late to all these events. Oh, thank you for just throwing that in my face immediately. Must triumph over base power, basic, basic enemies. Powerful opponents and feast of the departed warriors. You can change the basic score you can. You can change the basic score you can obtain by choosing different combat conditions. While you change your score multiplier by choosing your challenge difficulty. Have your opponent's special traits and skills. It will also be changed accordingly. You can choose up to three tempos in each challenge to strengthen yourself according to your opponent's special traits. You can invite a maximum of one other player to do the challenge in co-op mode. The results of the challenge will be recorded for both players. Neat. Basically, steamrolled the Feast of Warriors event by picking options that would get me up to a thousand points while keeping it easy mode. Because my connection issues, is I want to keep your... Okay, yeah, that's fair. If you're just doing that... Oh, wow, I... Ah... Uh... When does this expire? Ten days? Wow! Oh wow! I'm gonna, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna be. Able, I think I'm gonna be able to get forty at least. I'm gonna have to like power run through everything. Which first before I do this, I gotta do commissions. Cause I haven't done anything. Might as well do commissions. Escort balloon. We'll start with that. Because this I would finish stages in 11 to, or 12 seconds. Well, that's crazy. 
wish could play enemies events with you. Sorry for inconvenience. Look, it's it is no problem if you're having issues on your end. Like I know you have a lot of setup to do right now because you got like a new PS5. And you're usually you need to like just like get things like set up and put together. That's it's perfectly fine. Honestly, I'm just kind of like I'm just I was just taking a break from Genshin in general because I was feeling I was feeling a little like jumbled with things. But like I said, also Destiny Two, I've just been getting back into it. I've been having a lot of fun. Like I, I'm uh, well, I it's I've been getting over my FOMO with that a lot with Destiny Two, and been just actually like putting the effort into like going through a lot of lore and just event stuff that I've missed from the game. Which, it sucks that, like, it's like, the games do that nowadays. Like, their games are just like, oh, yes, uh, you can't do anything uh, if you miss this one event. It's gone forever. But, thankfully, there are people online who can just, like, who can record all the, the cutscenes and who have all the things. And it's it's so nice. And I, also, I love, uh, my name is Bife, who does so such good like like lore videos like it's i just been i just listen to it in the background while i play other games or destiny 2 and i'm i've been listening to him a lot recently just until he uh i catch up Ooh, found a little hidey hole a little nook and cranny yeah i'm just watching uh my name is bife right now who is known as the lore king and i can see why he does such good lore videos but it's just until I get caught up with everything else. Yeah, uh, with Destiny 2, I'm catching up until, uh, I think I have to do, yeah, I have to do Beyond Light, I think that's the first one. No. Yes, I think it's Beyond Light. I just have to go through that, that'll be fun. But I'm doing a lot of, like, uh, Forsaken stuff in, uh, the Dreaming City right now, just to catch up with other stuff. And I'm seeing a lot of things that I don't think anyone will understand that, that aren't that don't play uh, Destiny 2. Also, what I find funny, I just got to a Gerudo. Like Gerudo Town in uh, Here's the Kingdom. So yeah, I took forever to get to Gerudo Town, but like, I'm having fun just like going at my own pace. Like, I, I see like, oh, I've beaten the game, or oh, I beat the game, oh, I'm so sad I beat the game. It's like, damn, that must suck. Mind the Helps keep effects. playing. Here comes the Still need to replay Breath of the Wild. You don't have to replay Breath of the Wild. And it you don't need I know Age of Calamity takes before Breath of the Wild, but you can just jump into like Tears of the Kingdom. Ah, uh, man, this, this sure looks secure. I hope Fontaine has a lot more secure uh, devices than this.
I got on the Switch recently for that reason. I haven't played it Wii U version since I beat it around the time it came out. Desperate need of a memory refresher. Will you receive keep your play, replaying the game? Alright, well that's fair. Seems like an emergency. Uh, not uh, a bitter pill to swallow. The doctor will see you. Behold. That's far enough. I'm so glad. Oh, I'm just, I'm just getting zapped and everything. Too slow. Black slide. The field is lit. Stop zapping me, please. Stop. Oh my god, stop. It's Too only slow. funny when I do it to you. Squall and Fury. Bow your head. Not funny when you do it to me. It's more annoying. I don't like it. Mind the side effects. I've also been caught up in trying to complete the Bayonetta games first out, first out of out of partial obligation, but also because I was in the mood to play them. Still tempted to try and find a balance between Bayonetta and Zelda, but I rarely get distracted by one or the other. I mean, yeah, just if you feel you're getting burned out by one game, just don't be afraid to like just reach out to the other one. Just play like just play some other games, and then come back. Is it raining all over this game in like Liwa? Is it raining everywhere? Nope, it's not. It's now sunny. What lovely weather! Which reminds me, we just received a batch of herbs. Don't worry. Even if Chi Chi forgot to dry out the herbs. Herbalist Gwei will certainly remember to put them out in the sun. <laughs> yes, you're right. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I still have been beaten Shining Resonance for frames since 2020. That's because it got unexpectedly harder. Oh no! The game got harder. Better quit because it won't get easy now. Better play a game that is easy until that game get hard. The wind rises. Slow. Something can be Samurai Wars 3DS. Since okay, you don't have to explain your entire list, but I get it. Oh, wow, right, I have a lot of, there are a lot of things here. This is what happens when you don't play the game for a while. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Hmm. An entire, this, this expires in Oh, in three hours. Yeah, let's just do this. I'll I'll hide the game capture so you can hear me talk as I I fill this out because I think they're like these like be uh, private. Yeah.
We're going to fill this out this survey real fast. Do 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 do. Oh, they involve uh, what what have I been how I've been playing the game. Hey, does. I mean, I, yeah, no, that's what I understand you're in the mood of the chat. I was I'm just teasing. I've been using keyboard actually no not keyboard and mouse, I use PC controller. Alright. I have heard of this event. I have participated in the event. Mm hmm What requirements? I met all the requirements, including the recommended ones. Very satisfied with it. Atmosphere. That one. And that one, too. What do I agree with? I agree with that one. Uh, I agree with that one. I agree with that one. How satisfied was I with this? Very. Do you know Mario of Persona? Uh, Daz, do you mean the, uh... Do you mean Cat Mario? Or, uh, the Tanuki Mario? Or the new, uh, Elephant Mario that's, like, been announced? Oh yeah, the Elephant! I'm actually, I'm actually kind of excited for that game. It looks actually really good. Also, like, Elephant Mario actually does look kind of cool. How satisfied was I with story? Pretty good. Pretty good satisfied. Oh god, what is this thesis? How do you feel the following quests? Uh, round one, two, three, and four. Uh... Round one. Satisfied. Uh... I have the DS Super Mario Bros. game. I actually have the uh, anniversary um, collection of uh, Super Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and I think the other one is Mario Galaxy or something. It's it's just a bunch of like the 3D Mario games. I have yet to I have yet to play it, which I hate that I haven't touched it yet. But like, I'm starting to just try and go through all my Switch games that I have. Like I I plan to play a. Uh, Either Skyward Sword next or uh, Near Automata, because I haven't I haven't beaten either, or even like really started either. Oh, I also got Metroid Dread as well. Oh my god, I got so many things to go through, and I I still got to go through Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, uh. Round two, uh, somewhat satisfied. Satisfied and satisfied. Rewards, I liked it. The time required, I liked it. Tour of Wonders. I was satisfied with that one. Actually, I think I was more somewhat satisfied with that one. Uh, fun experience. That one was that was a fun one. 
And the checkpoints were decorated nicely. Interesting. Interesting. Very, actually, easy. Very easy to understand. I. It was pretty easy. Oh, zero hour invocation. I like this one actually. I, I like this one a lot. Each level felt different. I like genius invocation. Yeah, sorry, sorry for this. It's just like no gameplay right now. I just I'm filling up the survey, and it's it's pretty it's pretty boring. So I'm just like getting through all this real fast. Mario Kart DLC makes me want to get the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, it has online co-op with friends. I'd be surprised if uh, the Mario game didn't have online co-op. That's how a lot of like people are able to like, do recordings with like a lot of friends. Well, I don't have the game either, so I need to get it as well. Don't you skill issue me. I can... I am a... Like, I am exceptionally good at Mario Kart. All I do is just make you upset. Billing. Ah, oh, it's, it's just going through all of it with me. I'm the, I'm the last one to fill up the survey, so it wants me to answer everything about everything on this, uh, on the on the past event. Oh, only two? Okay. Oh, now we're onto the dice one. Uh, somewhat satisfied. That was thrilling. Buffs was easy and, uh, fun. That's, yeah, it was fun. How satisfied are you with the Dual Summoner's Summit? Just the, just the right amount of content, I think. And we're done. Sorry that took forever. They gave me like, the whole like uh shebang for like this the survey. There's no Also, there's like a special event right now or something. What is that? Need to exchange pleasantries. It's pathetic to force a converse. Was there like a, a new web event or something? Am I missing out on potential primo gems? 
man. Right, we got the new bow from the uh, the event. I didn't even take a look at it. At least I don't. I don't remember what I looked at. Elemental mastery will be increased by forty within six seconds after charge attacks hit opponents. Oh, well, that clearly should go to like. Uh, why am I forgetting his name? Tainari. That should that should clearly go to Tainari then. Unless there's like another character I could probably use that as charge attacks. I have all the stuff for this, right? Oh no, wait. Oh. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't grab any of the stuff, did I? I didn't grab any of the upgrade stuff for the bow. I have a worthless bow now. I don't have any of the. Oh, I'm so stupid. Which this bow? I can go, I can't go to this. I think the shop's gone. The shop's gone. I can't get anything from it. I don't. So I've just I've great. I've I've screwed myself on like something I was interested in. God damn it. Why are he so fucking stupid sometimes? That's my f yeah, no shit, that's my fault. Anyways, let's just get on with the like this event. At least I remembered that I I have to do these. Okay, so it's the Electro, whatever, like the Electro thingy, whatever whatever his name is, Man Thunder Manifestation. Use the lightning attacks to strike at probes, block on his foes, scan your right area, have a shield. Well, let's increase its Cryo, because I'm not going to use Cryo, I'm going to be using Pyro. Yeah, we'll increase its, its potential by 50%. I'll just mostly fake, focus on this. This will just be fueling the fire for uh, Pyro. Tempos, give me aid. Uh, yes. Uh... Grab that 
and that we'll grab that. So we're going to take you and me, of course. Uh, of course. Um. This for added damage. So I could probably just grab you, uh, Yalon for that. And who else should I grab? I'll just grab Toma. Uh, so we're just going to be using Yoimiya, and everyone else is going to be battering. There's going to be a battery for her. Here's Becca! Things are about to get tight. Taking a turn for the better. Here come the fireworks! Gotcha. Mind the side effect. Fire hazard. Boom, baby. My mood has been fixed. I am now happy again. That was incredible. Holy shit, uh, was that 33 seconds that you did that in? Also, I should have equipped, uh, uh, Yunjin. I'm, man, I've, it's been a while, it, man, a week and I forget everyone's names. I should have grabbed Yunjin for that, actually, because that would have been increased, uh, normal damage as well. I could have probably got that done faster, I think. I am not gonna be able to get that score. I would need to have I need to have friends, like I need to have like someone with like uh st like huge beef characters. Oh, bully! Oh, being bully characters now. That one's gonna be hard. That one's gonna be brutal on me. As long as I can get like a the hundred five in total for each one, I think that's good enough. Alright, so what, is, what does this guy do? Uh, let's do that. No, same thing. Uh, we'll increase that again. Increases cryo resistance. I'm not going to be using cryo. Alright, Yoimiya. Actually, let's, not, let's increase Electro. We'll not do that. We won't do Cryo, because we'll, we'll, we'll be bullying with Ice. I haven't played with the familiar time to use Yoimiya. Leveling, speedrunning commissions, bound to full core teams. So I can get uh, excited to try her out today. I had fun. Oh. Oh, right. we got to change the difficulty to normal so I can have fun. With, like, at least a small challenge. Fifty percent less time? That's all I need. Because it's so easy to bully this enemy. The Aeon Blight Drake and the regular this, uh, winged Drakes are so easy to bully. You just have to hit their wings and they go down. 
then you hit their cent their central uh, head core, and then they go down. <laughs> and then you hit the, their wings again. I nearly choked my spit. Sorry, I was just checking my phone there for something. Anyways, normal, get everything else. Resistant to Electro, so don't bring Electro to this. We're going to increase that again. Let's double increase their attack. Yeah, we'll do that too, because I'm, I'm just going to be hitting uh, weak points. Grab her. Grab that. Grab Baiju. No Electro, right. No Electro. So, I should probably grab someone else. Let's boost the let's boost the cryo and have too much fun. You can use the ball to hit that weak spot. Wait, what ball? What ball are we using? Wait, which character is the ball? I must have missed something. Oh, the bow. Do you mean bow? Because yeah, it does. That, that's that's mainly how you like you deal with like the the Eon Blight Drake. You just hit its wings and then you hit its head, and then you repeat the process over and over again. It's too it's too funny. Oh man. Oh right, they don't start in the air like the like normal ones. A bitter pill to swallow. Wow, when they said 50% less, they weren't kidding. No. Here comes the catch. My guiding star. Do your master's bidding. Take your true form. In your dreams. Not now. Remember. Health comes first. The doctor was seen. My will embodied. My ordinance divine. Stars shine free. Things are about to get dicey. You know, one, you know, one point six. You have to use a ball to hit. Daz, do you mean bow?
Sorry, I'm 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 trying to like uh understand. Mind the side effects. What the ball? Hmm. That's okay. Take your time. Okay, the the twin dragon heirs. So that's Cryo and Electro. Yay. Oh boy. Let's increase their hydro resistance. I'm not going to use hydro on these guys. Oh, that's... Wait, they have a revival mechanic? If you're able to defeat the Frost exactly in a short time... They have a re Oh, okay. I didn't know they had that. Is that... What's the expert? Oh, lovely. So, okay. I didn't know they had a revival mechanic. Ever. Let alone for this. This is going to be fun. Oh yeah, the wind, the wind blesser, the wind blessed Harpastum. I think I might have that. I'm not sure entirely though. Yeah, no, I think I have that. I think I might have that bow. We'll grab this too because we need a Claymore character. Well, actually, we have one, but yeah. Yeah, we have. We have uh... Hmm. I should just. I should actually probably just bring Chong Yun because just Chong Yun in general will be good. Yeah, I have participated in the first Golden Apple Archipelago. I use Eula. I might use Eula. Let me just try this with uh, Chang Yun first, because I usually use Chang Yun when I uh, when I fight these guys. Just for the cryo field he has with the skill. Now you shall perish. Gonna get him low enough to the flash there. Alright, let's focus on their guy now. Swift and merciful. Submit for judgment. The 
Feel the beat. Seems like an emergency. Inazuma shines eternal. <laughs> Got it. Calculated. It only took me a minute, almost a minute and a half, actually. That's not too bad. That wasn't too bad. But now I have to plan out how I'm going to do this with all three, because I need to have uh, Yoimiya first. You may face many opponents consecutively during the final challenge. You can choose the four primers and four standby. Oh, okay, standbys. I got standbys. Each time you complete one challenge, you can freely configure your party based on any characters you've chosen to better face the following combat. Okay. Uh. That's a normal. Do this in 500, I think, because the only slow thing was just the last one, which took me a minute. So, the other two I could probably do fast now that I remember how, how the AM the flight rate goes. I just gotta be relentless and bully him. Let's, let's increase the animo, increase the geo. I'm not gonna use these two. I will add that, though, just to make it a little bit fun. Oh, I should get nine. It should give me nine for this, not this. Not just this less. Okay. Let's start this off with uh, the go-to team. I might add Yunjin this time just to have like additional uh, punch. Oh, Beans, what else did I have when I did this? Why am I drawing a blank now? Why am I drawing a blank all of a sudden? I know I'm going to have uh, Yunjin just to deal like extra attack. I, I guess... Hmm. Right, Toma. Toma. I had Toma. And for backup. I don't think I'm going to need the backup support, but we just have them there in case. Just in case of emergency. Got you covered. Break a leg. Remember, health comes first. Go to ship down. The field is lit. Time for a light show. Alrighty.
So, we have a bow character. I could actually just see if I just burn through this. I think I could just burn through this, but I want to swap uh, Toma out for Raiden. So we have more zap. Oh, beans, out. shut the fuck up. No. I didn't... Uh. Well, we got it there. Uh. You know what, screw it. Let's, let's just try it with this. Let's just try with this team, see what happens. Mind the side effects. Thank goodness they paused it at least. The okay, so I got 349 sec and 94 seconds left. This is going to be the harder one, and I'm not looking forward to this. Shattered. Time for a light show. Seems like an emergency. Shine down. I messed up there, now I have to hurry this. Illusion shattered. It's gonna come back to life. Hopefully with less health. That was not the less health I was hoping for. I got five minutes. Okay. We have time. That didn't count. There is no escape. Torn to oblivion! Illusion shattered! Break a leg! Time for a light show! That's what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do there. There we go. Only took three minutes. Capture a total of oh it's the oh it's that one with weaknesses, the thing that has weaknesses, that that thing in particular.
Oh, up here. In this one spot, like, didn't really get that much uh, attention, I think, in the main story. At least I say that. I think it, it got attention at something. There was, like, a Fatui had to, like, attack. Maybe it was part of the story. I forget. I know, like, there was something you had to do up here. It may have just been, like, a world quest. Or, like, a, like a character quest or something. Oh, hello, man. Jami. No way I'm gonna finish this. I guess I have no choice but to reduce the scale of my experiments. Let me think. How should I explain this to my mentor? Oh, my experiment was way too hard to conduct. It's impossible to find the right materials, and I still failed after trying everything I could to build an ideal experiment environment. Oh, what a lame excuse. I'm sure my mentor wouldn't have any of that. Maybe you should just tell him up front that you can't complete this project and come back with a new come up with a new proposal. Oh. Don't just join the conversation when someone's talking to themselves. Oh, hey. It's you. Do you remember me? It, I'm, I'm Jami, the, the Emer an Emerita researcher. Oh yeah, you were the one who had a hard time with your thesis proposal. Yep, that's me. The Emerita researcher who was tormented by his thesis proposal and was this close to seeing the Dendro Archon. Uh, anyway, thank you for, su that, for that suggestion, but as things currently stand... <sighs> I'm pretty much past the point of no return. If I discontinue this project, my mentor would no doubt skim me alive. That wouldn't be all. He'd leave me out to dry and turn me into a specimen, then place me inside the Emerta labs. My label would say Jami, who failed to live up to his mentor's expectations. Is your mentor Dotore? Is he the doctor, or are you just exaggerating? Sounds like the start of another urban legend with the academia. But mentors really do that? Yeah, that's way too exaggerated. I guess becoming a specimen wouldn't be too bad. At least I can serve as a warning to my juniors. Wow, he's become so depressed. Why can't you just stop? You shouldn't force yourself to do something you can't do. It's complicated. And it's not really impossible to do either. I conducted a similar experiment in the past and even obtained some workable data. Oh, well, that's great. Just continue working on your experiment then. <sighs> but everything went downhill from there. My previous experiment was such a huge success that my Darshan beg began to have high hopes for my project. Even my mentor gave me a few compliments. You can do it, Jami. I believe in you. Who would have thought that cranky old man would, had some, would say something like that? Isn't that a good thing? Yeah. I felt truly honored by their kindness and made an impulsive decision to turn my research project into an unprecedented success. Our Darshan has just received some new funds at that time. So I came here and built the best possible experimental site. I used the most advanced building materials and bought top-tier observation equipment at great expense. As I worked on constructing the site, I couldn't help but set the highest standards for everything. Hee <laughs> hee, Paimon gets it. It's like walk walking to a restaurant saying, just bring up all your best dishes when ordering. Exactly. I was thoroughly won over by that feeling. Before I knew it, the cost began growing exponentially as the scale of my experiment increased. The experiment has developed to a point where it's impossible for me to complete, and the sheer cost of maintaining the site makes it difficult to hire additional assistants. So if I scale my experiment down, the mantra would accuse me of not using the funds completely and pocketing the extra more for myself. <laughs> Maybe I should just turn myself in before the mantra starts suspecting. Oh, before that, I should enjoy one last meal at Lamb Lambad's tafe Tavern. I say Tafe. Just bring up all your best dishes. Oh, can you take us with you? Wait, no, 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 wait. Are you sure there's nothing else you can do to save your experiment? Just get to the point and tell us. What's troubling you? I need more Mora. Pink Eye Leston. Is that a butterfly over there? Let's go check it out. Let's go, Paimon. 
Like, don't go. Please, hear me out. I, I need the Mora to hire observers who can help with the experiments. Do you mind help? If you don't mind helping, I, I wouldn't have to hire extra observers. After the experiment ends, I can simply tell, sell as much equipment as I can and use the Mora as your compensation. Hmm, what do you think, Kai Leston? Yeah, we'll help him. But what exactly do observers of your experiment do? My project is centered on the defense of deficiencies of various creatures. Collecting data requires you to engage in strategic combat while taking pictures. I'm kind of guess why this is, why it's expensive to hire observers now. Yeah, it's a little dangerous, so you don't really you don't, you really don't have to help. Just remember to place some flowers before my specimen if you pass by the Umberta lab. All right, all right, we're pros at fighting monsters, but taking pictures while fighting sounds like a lot of trouble. But don't worry, this is where my phase potion comes into play. This potion only works inside the experimental site. Drinking it will allow you to subjectively feel as if time has slowed down. There's no guarantee you'll be able to dodge every single attack, <laughs> but at least you'll have enough time to adjust the angle before taking a picture. Hyman thinks he means injury is unavoidable, but please, be sh please make sure that the photos are good. With how skilled you both, both of you look, I'm sure you'll be fine. But compared to high-quality pictures, your safety always comes first. I mean it. We'll be careful. My entire academic career is in your hands. I'm counting on you. And we never talk to him again. Being an opponent in combat will grant face tinc uh, tinctures which will that will accumulate up to a certain point, where they can be used to enter time dilation mode. You can accumulate up to three uses of the phase potion at any time. Use it to enter time dilation mode. In this mode, you can zoom and adjust your camera angle to adjust your field of vision. In time dilation mode, you can save the on-screen image of your screenshots. Use your viewfinder to capture your opponent's weaknesses and suspense. use the suspense skill. When you have captured over eight weaknesses, you can unleash a buff super sense skill. Using a different, a different opponents of different number of weaknesses, you will find a golden... Critical weaknesses have in some opponents. Spotting one such critical weakness is equal to two ordinary. The former allows you to obtain a buffed super skill more efficiently. If you leave time dilation mode without spotting weaknesses, you will not expend any phase potions. Alright, neat. Let's go. Oh, there's only two right now. I thought, like, there was, like, a ton of things right now. Oh, hi, Gillen. Fried twee, a twee. Oh, man. The twees are frying. Shockwave unleashed. Uh, yeah. Dentro? Dentro shockwave? Oh, I'm gonna have fun. We're gonna bonk everything with Dia. Everybody stand back! One with nature! Cloud time. The birds are dead meat. Let's get it on. Haha. <laughs> Wind and 
to the wind. I'm going in. They're dead meat. Let's get it on. Wow, look at all those weaknesses. And she didn't even step out yet. Pity. Just funny. A major oversight. That's a major oversight. That's a major oversight. That is very stupid if that's the case. Ah, uh, just 1500. Okay. Ah, we're using Kaveh this time. I've never used him yet. setting. Clear. 
down the business. Let me try my <sighs> Watch and learn. Scanning. Let me read you a verse. Rain outlines your fate. Hold the line. How's this? Just like we rehearsed. Come at me. <laughs> your fate. Hi. Yep, yep. That's him, officer. That's him. That's the one. Oh, that scared me. now. This one especially. That was a good score. Oh, so Dia's skill... Uh, reacts with other elements, but not her burst. That is still just a massive oversight. Let's take a quick look at the key house. Quit following me. Huh, too slow. I would love to know what what the story is for this. I swear, like they're if they don't do something with like by next year with this house. Actually, I probably should just make my own lore for this. This mysterious house is just is by the, the river near the coast that leads towards uh, Sumeru. It's a nice little like a uh, cove here. It's my future moth. It's the future moth shop, where I sell uh, high quality, all naturally grown moss. Totally didn't steal from anywhere else. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Organically sourced. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. Yeah, you know, I think about yeah. I think about it. There used this all used to be just like grassland. Remember, like it was just mountain and grassland, like the beach, kind of like the ocean over there wasn't really there back when, like uh, before they added Inazuma. They really like like I I love how they added some new stuff. Oh, you can see the clear uh, patch line like where they added new stuff in. And the fame. Who can forget the famous 
uh, floating tree in the river. Quality game. <laughs> I tease. I'm teasing, but like, yeah. Anyways, we have, uh... Oh yeah, we still have to find, uh... Where, where Zhichong is in a chasm, but I don't know where to look yet. I mean, I might as well could just try that before I do a hangout. Somewhere down here. Where did I? F I think I found. I found her over here last time. Also, I thought about how the whole moth shop thing was your inside joke. Are there actual moth shops? Wow. I was just doing that because, like, that whole, like, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, I'll explain this right now to everyone else who doesn't understand. I have, uh, I made a joke and like I was on a Minecraft server. I made a when I made just a shop where it's RSL moss, and it was based on this little comic with like these kobolds who are arguing over how they sort moss, because one sorted it by color, and the other one sorted by like by taste and flavor. And so I just laughed at the idea. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have a moss shop where I just sell moss by uh by flavor. And I just like made different like labeled moss with different flavors. That's all it was. That's all it essentially was. And I just joke about it every now and then. Was she over here? I want to see she was at some point. Oh, that's just a knife. Disguised like someone I want to go for. Oh, someone actually... Oh, someone has a video. So we made a video of a, a moth shop. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad to see I'm not the only uh, moth shop enthusiast here. Okay, so... Oh, maybe over here, actually. I think I found her over here. It's either that or it's the center area. There's a fancy clothing shop called Moss. Oh, I... This is all stuff I gotta look into. It would be so funny for me just to buy, like, a clothing brand that just has Moss on, like, the cuff, like, like the front of the shirt. That should be funny to have. I don't see her up here. I still can't believe it's like the hardest way to get up to that upper area by literally climbing every just climbing it instead of looking for another egg entrance. Because why would I be that intelligent? I gotta do things the hard way.
Is she up here? If she's up here, I'll laugh. Quit following me. Too slow. Nope, she's not. Oh, I, thought that, I thought that was a postal down there. I didn't play this game. I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom a lot. Alright, let's check the ruins. What am I up to? I'm looking for a uh, Zichong in the chasm right now. Like, I know she's somewhere. Oh. I forgot that was upside down. I don't know where, though. So I'm just checking... Uh, general areas just seeing what happened last time uh last time we checked in and apparently she vanished so she just left the camp so no one knows where she is so i'm just kind of like i'm just searching the chasm like uh, just general areas and spots where i think she might be i i doubt they've hidden her was that always there Was there always a ruined golem there? I feel like the ruined golem is new. So evidently I should go fight it. I mean, it's perfectly it makes perfect sense I gotta fight the thing mind the side of that here come the fireworks the field is lit your grand finale Time for a light show. Well, she's not over here, so we'll check everywhere else. Okay, it's just that guy with the bow. Do I still need those parts for Shenha? Yes, but I don't know how many I have exactly. I could use a few more. The doctor will see you now. I'm stuck. The scribe of swords. You can tell he's a scribe of swords if you Bow. Mind the side effects. No, I think that's like that was the burial tunnel where all like the uh early heroes were just laying down waiting to meet their inevitable death. This leads back to okay, this leads back to 
here. So he's back to the camp. I thought the camp was further downward. Wait, how about... I think I checked... I checked somewhere downward, but I don't think I checked the whole way downward. I might as well just go check the lower areas now that I think about it. Because I forget if I did. No, Too slow. no quests or anything up here? No nothing? Alright, fine. I know what I'm not wanted. Big mushroom. Quit following me. Behold. I don't see anyone that way, so we'll go this way first. Remember the inside joke uh, we made when we used to hype the chasm? I, I forget where that what that was. What was what was the joke we made about the chasm for me? Huh. Like, I know we did a joke about the chasm. I don't know remember what it was. What is that? Also, why am I going so slow? Wow, what? I felt like I was going, getting dragged down there. Oh, is this still glowy from like the quest? Includes the F word. Oh, you mean fuck? Huh. Yeah, if you try to say fuck, and it's okay. The wind rises. No, I don't remember it, but uh. I still remember what it was, but uh. Thank you for trying to jog my memory. Uh, thank you for trying to jog my memory. I gotta stop speaking so fast. The doctor will see you now. The, oh, the joke is I'm going to. Oh, the joke is I'm going to fuck the castle. I don't remember be this. I don't remember that at all. Damn. The castle was a long while ago. Ah, she's gone. Well, I can get rid of this waypoint now. Oh, I've basically explored everything, essentially. It would seem. Deepest of the depths. Quit following me. Okay. Please be patient and wait. Huh. I would rather explore every nook and cranny like the RPG 
enthusiast inside of me would like to, than just like rush ahead where I think the right path might be. <laughs> Too slow. Me. Just a faint nagging memory. Okay. But like... I wasn't asked to be guided. Oh, I already read this. I bring this up because something can be easily overlooked. I would have overlooked it if it was help for a video walkthrough. I'm not trying to guide you. I'm just not giving you full details. I know, but like you're, you're really, like I understand that. But I, but I didn't ask for any assistance. I was just kind of like looking around where I thought to go. Like I understand you're not trying to like, uh, like railroad or like guide me through everything. And I appreciate the help, but. I have to, I do have to say like please you don't have to like do not try to like help me unless I ask for it like I'm just kind of like just trying to go through not saying you did anything wrong just saying I like an opportunity to use your inside joke. Why does it feel extra bright? Huh. Description cannot be in a super se. A little observation reveals that engraving a map of the surrounding area. The tab was also engraved with some complex pictures that you have that have something to do with giant crystals suspended before you. I forget if that was there prior. That looks like a hidey hole. Was that always glowing? It's been a while since it was down here. Holy shit, there's a chest up here. Yo, there's a chest. You remember exactly what happened last time? 
Uh, last time with what? Take it and have fun. Behold. You're asking me to remember from last time. That's a very vague question. Was it even vaguer answer? You might as well ask me, what, what, do you remember eating lunch? And it'll be like, yeah, every day. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh! Real long letter. Seems like Jishun left it here. There's all right. Where's she gone? Let's just tell Jinwu about what happened first. I'm gonna read this. Frozen glaze crystal. Now the rings of blue crystal, the powerful abyss. A strange spell of power has emerged within the stone. It's cold, almost chilling to touch. This one smooth crystal has been transformed into this shape by a great light that descended from the heavens and the miasma that grows in the earth's depths. Perhaps the form it has taken it's a, is itself a warning unto other mortals. If the interaction of these forces alone could twist stone and metal thus, if that ordinary heroine was truly able to witness the end of the pitch dark path, how would she have faced the discovery she would make? What? does that mean? Oh, this is a long one. Alright, let's see here. To the exploration team, I am sincerely sorry for leaving on such short notice. I am grateful for your help along the way, but it's a pity I can't keep working together with you. Jinwoo, please don't feel upset about my departure. I trust that among the all among all the unbecoming and foolhardy young adventurers that you've looked after, I'm but one hopeless fool. I hope I haven't been a big headache for you and that although I've left, I've left you with all good memories. If I ever had any family, you'd be the one the one dearest to me. There are so many stories I haven't yet had time to share with you. All I can do is leave some half-finished names on the map. It's a shame that it was done in a haphazard fashion and I didn't get to carry out much background research or fine-tune the wording. I regret not being able to come up with better sounding names for you and the others. Anyway, thank you for taking care of me, but I prefer adventuring alone be being looked after by my seniors. Mr. Kadive, please forgive my willfulness. I understand that you have your concerns. Maybe it's just like you said, the secrets hidden in the depths of the chasm are beyond mere mortals. Maybe that's the reason why the exploration took its toll on me, as I was not blessed with the vision. But still, I can't help wondering if those famed adventurers like Leonard, Stanley, and Rold have ever witnessed the same marvel as I. The stone walls of old crawling into the darkness, the purple dark mud gushing out like lava, the translucent azure crystals floating in the air, the damaged, the damaged stone tablets carved with maps of ancient places, and so many other indescribable wonders. Would those great adventurers have backed out for fear of danger, or would they have acted as reckless as I, persisting in pursuing the inscrutable secrets of the world, even at the price of their common and less dignified lives? Mr. Kadive, as a scholar and also as a mere mortal like me, what would your choice be in such a circumstance? Klitofo, please accept my apology from, for my previous distrust and willfulness. I don't have it in in for you, despite your annoyingly sneaky ways. Treasure hoarder background, impoliteness to Jinwoo, lack of hygiene awareness when making drinks. 
complete disregard to the safety regulations of the Ministry, and reluctance to heed our warnings no matter the scenario. In spite of all your faults, I don't think they were they really matter to me. As your friend, I regret not being able to meet you earlier. Mooning. I'm sorry, but I won't be reporting in at my post. Thank you for all your efforts in helping me land a job in the ministry. Without you, I would have been thrown out of the chasm the moment I entered it. Maybe the official offer from the ministry will arrive after my departure. Please keep it for me. I will treat you treat you to dinner if I ever come back. And don't you forget it. Kai Leston. Thank you for everything on this trip. You gave me good advice and came to my rescue. For that, I'm forever grateful. It's a shame I, that I don't know how I can repay you. As someone blessed by the gods, you're bestowed with elemental powers that will aid you in your adventures. Although I, may, I might never know the answer, I still wonder how you regard us as mere mortals. In ancient times, when heroes and yakshas fought alongside Rex Lapis, when colossal boulders were halved to form the mountains, when giant rocks were cast from the skies to create seabeds, what was the place of the mere mortals like us, whom the gods had neither noticed nor recognized? What are our mundane lives and hatreds, mundane happiness and regards and tragedies, mundane achievements and accomplishments, mundane bonds and relationships? Are all these just something of no consequence in the eyes of the gods? Are ancient dwellings of the gods and those unfathomable scenes really far beyond the reach of commonplace human courage? It may seem disrespectful to ask these questions when Rex Lapis has only just left us. But when compared with those with the chosen ones who have gained the gods' blessings by chance, what are we mere mortals unnoticed by the gods to make of ourselves. We've also obtained dreams by chance, and we keep pursuing them throughout our, li our busy, bustling lives. We don't want to be forgotten, and for that we strive hard to make even the slightest difference, or hang tough through laborious work every day with the courage of an ordinary human. Are all these acts of no meaning? Think of those herb gatherers who dangle from the top of the cliffs, miners who work day in and day out despite the potential threat of earthquakes, and workers who drive every nail into a giant ship multiple floors in height. If their hard work is dismissed as mundane and unworthy of remembrance, I can't help but question the gods' logic to favor some of our wishes and dignities over others. With such questions in mind, I follow you into the uncertainty and danger in the depths of the chasm, pushing my limit as a mere mortal. I wouldn't say that I've conquered or explored the area, but I hope that I can at least put the chasm into the map that I drew and edited. I want to mark the places that I've been to in varying sceneries in the chasm with names that belong to mortals, names that belong to me. For lack of a smarter solution, I believe that this is the only way to inspire those who come after me. I want to tell them how far someone who was not able, who was not chosen by the gods can go, and what stories she may leave behind. Please worry not for me. My journey has only just begun. Once I'm done taking a breather, I will march deeper in. Thank you for helping me clear the path ahead. I will continue venturing to the depths of the chasm until my strength fails me. Good luck, my fellow teammates. I hope that we shall meet again on our journeys in the near future. Damn. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it... I can only think of one place she went for deeper, and I'm afraid she is gone to a place that I can't even reach her now. What do you think of the letter? 
it's it's pretty sad to see. Jinwoo, we found this. All right, all right, relax. What did you find? Does it, does it have anything to do with Ji Chung's whereabouts? It's a letter she left behind. She says she's gone deeper into the chasm. Thank you. Let me see what she's written real quick. She reads the letter carefully. This girl. I've never really considered big ish issues this big, but I, I so I can't really criticize her life choices, but perhaps... Perhaps I didn't acknowledge her discoveries in time, or give her as much respect or understanding as I should have. It would have been immeasurably more difficult to complete our exploration without her maps. But I only showed concern for her health instead of focusing on her hard work and what she's done so much to achieve. Ugh. How did I not realize how her work was always so different from that of us miners? She just doesn't want to be forgotten. Well, don't we all, as people who aren't favored by the gods? Don't we all? But has anyone ever been as obsessed as her? And yet, when I think about the moment when I gave up on any thoughts of becoming great, when I realized that I've gotten to, I've gotten to you, I, I've gotten to use too used to living day to day, day to ordinary day. I feel like I just don't have the right to judge Zhi Chong. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. That is the end of her story? The smell coming from the mines has changed again. So, no reward. No completed, just the achievement that we got. Where lies the true meaning of adventure? Well, damn. I can't help but sympathize with her. Just, like, the fear of, like, being forgotten is, like, something that I think a lot of people, like, uh, think about and struggle with. Anyways, let's move on to a more lighter note. As we have two more memories to do for uh, Ningguang. Ah, oh, we got two more paths to do. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. I mentioned it. I think she did up in the depths where you once were trapped in the Arkham Quest. Ah, oh, she went down there. It's she basically went down there with like no other lifeline. Does that make you think, make you feel emotional for her? I do, I feel bad for, I feel sad for her. Like it's, like just when you realize what she, where she's gone, it's like, 
you realize that it's just she basically just thrown away her life for the things she's most passionate for and just for like the dreams she wants to have yes I'm already awake I'll be out in a moment I'm just changing good morning did you sleep well the same as usual that's good. I was worried you'd be a little uncomfortable. So, what's item one on today's schedule? Hmm. I imagine this must have taken Baishir completely by surprise. Yeah, but she said she'd leave it up to me. Sure. There's no harm in changing my schedule around once in a while. My schedule is usually very tightly packed, and any extra time I can squeeze out is spent on preparing for the future. So, it'll be quite nice to take a break. You don't take many breaks, huh? I don't often feel tired. Seeing the Mora come in has a way of making me feel quite invigorated. Still, your idea is very sensible. Mora can only lift a weary spirit. It cannot alleviate physical fatigue. So then, the days ahead of us. Any ideas on how to spend it? Let's do something you've never normally had the opportunity to do. Hmm, something I never have the opportunity to do. Hmm, interesting. Before I decide, I'd like to know, what gave you this idea? It was one of the two options. Because, as far as most people are concerned, Mora is the key to any and all opportunities. But being a member of the Li Liwa Shisheng is a limitation. Yes. You're absolutely right. This is what I appreciate about you. You see things the way they are, rather than how they appear. I want to do something a little self-indulgent. Is that okay by you? The day is yours. Do with it as you please. Thank you. All right, here it is. I've always thought it would be fun to recapture what life was like before I joined the Liu Chi Sing. I was born into a humble family, and all the wealth you see now began with a single haul of fish. You know how to fish? <laughs> I had to. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Fishing isn't the half of it. You'd be amazed at some of the odd jobs I've worked in my time. A lot of the old folks like to brag about how I used to be their errand runner back in the day. <laughs> Makes sense. They were tough times. But I had a clear goal and plenty of motivation. If I didn't make any money in the morning, I'd have no food for lunch. I guess that's why I came to be so obsessed with Mora. But if you were to fish, and you fished for yourself, you'd at least have food for everyday consumption. I want to relive that time for my life. Feel some of that drive again. Take a trip down memory lane. So how about it? Will you join me? Not what I was expecting, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Great. Then let me lay down the ground rules. Okay. We're not to use our status or reputation in Liyua Harbor to our advantage, and we have no starting capital. The goal is to see how much more we can make under these conditions. Let's start at the bottom of the ladder. Okay. But working as a day laborer could be quite dull. Why don't we go down to the docks? They periodically throw out a lot of unclaimed or abandoned goods. We might find something that we can exchange for Mora. Not the most dignified way to make money. What does it matter? Don't worry about it. It's all part of the fun. Also, I saw the Northland Bank was another option. So I think that's the third branch. Come on, let's go down to the docks. Okay, Kaminari. Are you gonna actually go up this time and not get stuck? The wind rises. Nope, you'll just still bump your head because you don't know how to go up correctly. And that's totally not anything to do with me being in bad positions.
Give me your goods. Uh, Lady Ningguang, uh, to what do I owe the honor? Are you here to inspect the goods in the warehouse? You may have to wait a moment. I, uh, I must have not gotten the message. Sorry, I won't be long. I'll grab all the paperwork right away. Calm down. No need to panic. That's not why we're here. Uh, oh, you're just looking for... for me? I haven't done anything. H have I? I mean, I don't think so. Uh... We want to know about the unclaimed and abandoned goods. All oh, right, the periodic clearances. Yeah, I've been handling those strictly per the protocol. I make sure I post all the necessary notices and notify every individual that I'm required to. It used to be a huge problem, but with a bit of hard work, I've managed to reduce the amount of goods we need to clear out by at least half. So, why do so many goods get abandoned in the first place? It's hard to say. It really depends. Everyone has their own reasons. But as far as the warehouse is concerned, they all fall into these categories. Unclaimed goods, damaged goods, or unpaid storage fees. As for the damaged ones, I guarantee you it's nothing to do with how they're stored. It's because some things go bad more easily than others. If it sits there in the warehouse for too long, it goes without saying that it could start to affect the other goods. But that aside, even the smell is just unbearable. So, have you cleared out any of these goods recently? Um, I'm afraid we just finished clearing out all the big ones. But don't worry, Lady Ningguang. If you're here for an inspection, then I'm here to make it happen. Hang tight. I'll grab some of the smaller items for you right away. Hold on. Oh. Off he goes. I don't think he has quite grasped the nature of this situation. Well, can't really blame him. Lady Ningguang, I, I had a quick run through the list and cleared out some more items. <laughs> Please, inspect them at your leisure. Let me see here. Soggy food. An odd shoe. A broken mirror. Small wooden toy. Well, they're in terrible shape. No wonder no one wants them. It's a shame we missed the last clearance. We're down to the slim pickings now. Hmm. Some of these are true junk, but there are a few items of value here. Take this wooden toy, for example. The wood is good quality. If you took it apart, there's quite a number of useful everyday objects that you could turn it into with a little work. Can we have this stuff? Huh? You want it? Well, sure. Take whatever you want. It's all getting thrown away anyway. Great. This is going well. All right, let's take some time to sift through what we have acquired. Yes. Not achieved. And once we're we done, we yet. will find a merchant to give us an appraisal of their value. I have no idea what's going on here, and I'm not about to ask either. <laughs> Too slow. Too slow. Oh, is there, is there a person down here? Could that be she's ghost? I was gonna have us go up there again. Oh, is it below us? Wait, is it, isn't this a flower guy? Okay, what are we selling to Bolai? Lady Ningguang, welcome to my humble store. What can I get for you? Actually, today's a little different. I'm not here to buy anything. I wanted to ask if you could take a look at some goods for me. Just take a look? What for? To give me an estimate of their value. Oh, I see. Let me take a look then. Hmm. I mean, I can take them. I have a few regular customers I can talk to. They should be able to salvage the raw materials. It shouldn't take long at all. But, uh... What's wrong? If it's too much trouble, please. There's no need to force it. No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, let's talk prices. 
Uh, so all of these together... Uh, huh. Hmm, I'll give you 150,000 Mora. How does that sound? I get a couple of zeros by accident. Oh, well... Uh, no worries, no worries. Uh, the price is negotiable, of course, so we can discuss it further. If that figure's not what you had in mind, I can, uh, bump it up a little. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm sure we can reach an agreement here. Oh. What are your thoughts? Honestly, that's way too much. Yes. At most, these items are only worth a couple of thousand mora. Uh, huh? Wait, 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 wait a minute. So you're really here just to sell a few things? And uh, specifically, these things? I thought that was all code for some kind of inspection or something. Ah, so we were misunderstood once again. It appears so. We can't go on like this. Let's try something else. As long as we're in Liyue Harbor, this kind of misunderstanding is inevitable. If I wasn't Ningguang, Go Sanar probably wouldn't have handed all of these over to us. And you likely wouldn't be willing to buy them either. Uh, to be completely honest, uh, you're not wrong. Hmm. This goes against the rules we set for ourselves at the start. Then we'll just have to leave Liwa Harbor and live like an adventurer. Are there any other ways for adventurers to make Mora besides their remuneration from the guild? Well, we can go treasure hunting in Gwili Plains. But the work is hard and the payout is low. Great. I don't mind. Let's give it a try. Lead the way. You two have a good one. Time for treasure. Also, I don't think anyone saw because I blocked my currencies. But look how much Prima gems I have. I got enough for 12. Well, it's time to buy a bunch of dormant fungus. Eight days till Stardust reset. Yep. Ooh, a treasure chest. Just out in the open. This must be the place. Let's do this. Up. Uh Okay. Don't waste my time. It's nothing. Submit. Feels like it's been a long time since I've gotten so physical. Reprint is likely to be all reruns. Are you saving it for anyone? Yeah, I'm gonna wait till like. Well, I don't know if there's gonna be a 3.9, but if there's not gonna be a 3.9, then I'll wait for 4.0. The feeling of creating your wealth with your own two hands is just as exhilarating as ever. Game for this paltry amount? Yes, I'd say so. Everything starts out small. You focus on quantity at the outset, and gradually shift to focusing on quality as your wealth builds. And let's not forget, we started with no initial capital. It's reasonable to expect building something from nothing to be highly demanding. There's no 3.9. In fact, we've never had a 3.9 anything. I can dream, Twee. Let me dream. In any case... The sight of Mora has always had a way of improving my mood, no matter what the sum is. And let's keep this momentum. Yeah, let's keep this momentum going. I intend to. I'm not ready to stop yet. 
This time, let's try something a little more challenging. I mean, that's a bit more challenging right there. Another satisfying haul. Ah, uh, what a feeling. Yes, Tweet. It is, I, I, I fear we're never going to get a 6.9 patch. You're very good at this. That's very kind of you. But I know I'm no match for a professional adventurer like yourself. For me, a battle is just a form of exercise. A way to keep fit and use up any surplus energy. Have you scratched that itch yet? Oh no, not yet. There's more Mora to be made. Hey, look! What's that hole in the ground? I think it was dug up by a weasel thief. Oh, I see. So if we catch it, there's Mora for the taking? That's almost as fond of Mora as you are. Go figure. Oh, how quaint. That was your Beto impression, was it? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm having far too much fun to stop what I'm doing and start bickering with you, Captain. Come on, let's go get this weasel thief. What kind of character should be featured in the 6.9 patch? Uh, all the waifus. There it is! After it! Goodness, this reminds me of fishing. Not an easy catch. Uh... Does anyone else see the guy wearing a yokai ma wearing the Yaksha mask over there? But we didn't let it slip away, and the hall is now ours. That's what counts. How much did we make? Let's see. <laughs> a little over a thousand mora. Nice. We can't do any serious business with this amount of starting capital. We need to keep working hard. Do you need to take a break? Actually, now that you mention it, I'm suddenly a little hungry. Huh. Amidst the thrill of the chase, I didn't even notice. Wang Shuin is right there, but... Based on our financial position we can rule that out same thoughts here after how hard we work to get our hands on this mora it would be a shame to eat it all in a single sitting in which case i think i'll take this opportunity to show you a skill that i used to be rather proud of fish yes but the rule of the game is no fishing rods allowed we're going fishing by hand oh come on let's go down to the river First, <laughs> buddy, what are you doing? I thought I, I thought you were reformed. You speak to Star Snatcher, Celestial Lord. Well, a follower of his, at any rate. What is it? Your mask. Familiar, isn't it? I picked it up from below the inn. I suppose it must have been the one that Star-Lord Snatcher always wore. 
But this has to be a spare. I can't imagine that Lord Starsnatch would just leave his mask behind. What sin must we have committed for us to be abandoned by Lord Starsnatcher? Come to think of it, I have not seen his lordship in many days. Oh, it's a believer. It's one of his uh, posse. You know, he's a fake, you know. Preposterous. Preposterous. How dare you slight our Lord Star Snatcher in the presence of his followers. You, you, <laughs> a follower of an adeptus must, must not swear. What's more, I am wearing his lordship's mask. Leave. Leave now. I do not wish to speak of you. I, you must be a fake yourself, you fake. Well. I haven't checked up on the guy. I should really see how he's doing with, like, the, um, Temple he's built, full, re refurbished and like uh, fixed. This should be enough. Plump Let's fish. head back to land and grill them. That's not, he's not gonna attack me, right? Ning Long grills the fish like a pro. Here, have a taste of my cooking. A fresh catch can go straight on the grill with minimal preparation, and it tastes delicious, even with no seasoning. It's a little charred. That's on purpose. I just like how it tastes. Normally, Hell yeah. I have to make a special request to the chef if I want it to taste like this. Always get yourself a nice char on your, on your food when you cook it. Tastes better. Thank you. It was nothing. Back in the day, I had to hurry home after work to do my household chores. Then in the evening, it was out to the night market with the family to support our stall. I was always meticulous with the most menial of tasks. My mother always loved that about me. But by the same token, she didn't love the idea of me leaving home and starting my own business. She thought it was just an unnecessary risk when I could just carry on helping out at home instead. Well, if you followed her advice, people wouldn't be calling you Lady Ningguang today. You'd be more likely to see me pulling up outside Wanmin Restaurant and selling grilled tigerfish from a food cart. My childhood memories run deep. I'll always have a special affection for fish. They are confined to the water, and yet they live free. Swimming around wherever the mood takes them. A lot like adventuring. It is. I have greatly enjoyed experiencing the adventurer lifestyle with you. When I think back on all my hard work in the past, it motivates me to face the challenges that lie ahead in the future. Next time, I'll grill fish for you. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. But, a word of warning. I am very picky about my grilled fish. I can be a tough lady to impress. After a short rest, it is time once more to convert your precious efforts into the future motivation. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to... So now, oh, it's doing the Noel thing again. Why? Okay, I want to say it's we we pick the Northland Bank as our option. But first, before we do anything, I want to check on the uh the temple and see how it's doing. Well, yeah, I haven't cleaned it from the guild yet. I've been doing everything else. You're so happy just to see the sun again. How childish. Could you give me a few sticks? Actually, I've probably talked about the, uh... I need to collect more...
Okay, extra incense for next time. Time to work for the bank. Yes, I'm already awake. I'll be out in a moment. I'm just changing. Good morning. Did you sleep well? A little nervous. There's nothing to worry about. We just need to go through the schedule you made and tick the items off one by one. You know Cushing's favorite food? Yeah, it's also, um, uh, charred fish. So, what's item- Hmm, I imagine this must have taken by- Sure. There- My schedule is usually- So, it'll be quite nice to take- I don't often feel ta- Still, your idea oh, yeah, is Oh, no, it's Golden sensible. Shrimp Balls. Mora can only lift a weary spirit. It cannot alleviate physical fatigue. I was thinking, like, a specialty food that she cooks. So then- Hmm, some mm, interest because as far as most people are concerned, yes, I want to do something a little self. Thank you. I was born into a humble. <laughs> Fishing isn't the half. A lot of the old folks like to brag about how I used to be there. They were a tough time. If I didn't make any money, I want to relive that. So how about it? Will you join me? Great. We're not to use our stat. The goal is to see how much. Let's go find work at Northland Bank. I can see why you'd suggest that. You're thinking I could use my knowledge of how Mora works to my advantage and make a lot of money there. But Northland Bank is a special case. I rather suspect I would not be welcome there. Because you've clashed in the past and that it's still run by the Fatui? Yes, and also... <sighs> Never mind. I'll just show you. It won't eat up too much time. I expect they still hold a grudge against me to this day. Fair enough. How to distract Kuching, make her golden shrimp balls. I think I have to distract anyone if they like have a good sense of taste. Hello. Uh, Lady Minghuang, I would hope that you're not here to create further trouble for the Fatui. For the Fatui? You created trouble for all of Liwa. With all due respect, too much official pressure will risk driving our bank out of business. Good. There's no need to be so hostile. I'm just here to talk business. So, are you in business or not? 
That depends on the proposal. And it's not my decision alone. But first, tell me, why should we believe that you really are here for business? Sounds like Penty's VA, it does. Because if you're here to make us suffer huge losses like last time, then I'm sorry, but none of us here can afford that. Straight to the point, I see. Works for me. Traveler, we're leaving. Let's not waste any more of our time here. That works for me. I didn't feel like working with a bunch of people that like to destroy every city they go to. Alright, let's... Oh, hello, Vlad. How are you doing? Do you see what I mean now? Their attitude was just as I expected. They weren't even trying to hide their hostility towards you. That's for sure. Although our diplomatic relations with Snezhnaya haven't broken down completely, I dealt them a rather ruthless blow with the size of the reparations payment I imposed. Oh, that's perfect. This sum was paid by Northland Bank, so they are still wary of me to this day. So it is true. The Northland Bank is just an arm of the Dewey. Yes, with some exceptions, but that is more or less correct. If you encounter them in any other nations during your travels, be on your guard. They are more than just a commercial organization. Well, I know that. I guess I shouldn't have included this as an option. That's okay. My intention here was to show you some of the repercussions of that great battle. But that's quite enough politics for today. Let's get back to our fun little survival game. Wait a minute, can you sense it? Now that you mention it, yes. We're being watched. I think we're being, they've been following us since we left Northland Bank. Mm, what are they plotting this time? Let's grab them and ask the question. Mm, my thoughts exactly. But we need to be discreet. If they realize we're onto them, then we'll lose the element of surprise. Let's act natural, determine who our tail is, then lure them somewhere more deserted so we can catch them. Keep moving, just... Walk forward at normal pace and don't do anything to give away that we suspect anything. I suspect everything. Okay, I think we have a few potential suspects. There's a lot of foot traffic here, but if you look closely, you'll see only a handful of people have been watching us constantly. But I'm still not sure which of them is our tail. Let's keep going for now. Agreed. Whoever it is will continue to follow us. I wonder who it is. Oh, they're all suspicious. I'm gonna say it's the cat lady. The lady by the cat, not the uh, actual SNES Nyan man. That feels a little too obvious. I think we've narrowed it down a little further. But let's stay calm until we're 100% sure. Ah. Uh. It shouldn't take much longer. So it really is that... Wow, he moved fast. Holy shit. I thought it was the guy in, like, the, uh, the, the Tribbly over there. Oh, wow. They're, they're all suspicious. Everyone's suspicious. Wow, it's like secret invasion, but good. I 
think I have the answer. <gasps> It's it's the milady guy. Me too. Let's get out of his line of sight and sneak up on him. Don't get the wrong person though, or all our efforts will have been for nothing. It could be this guy. Should I go for the hat, man? Yeah, I, I might. It might be wrong, but like, it could. I think that's the right guy. Keep like hinting at him. But should we go for the hat, man? I say it's hat, man. Hey, what is it? Mm, wrong guy. Ugh, he got away. Well, at least we found the right one. And by that I mean the right branch. Alright, well let's try this. Ugh, what are you doing? Come now. Did you really think we wouldn't notice you sneaking around? What? I, I'm not doing anything. There's no there's no use trying to deny it. I don't know what scheme Northland Bank has in the works, and I don't know what they're paying you. But let's make a deal. How cooperative you are now decides how much immunity I give you when this gets investigated. Uh, uh... Or do you seriously think Northland Bank won't throw you to the wolves when push comes to shove? Why don't you weigh the pros and cons and give me a clear answer before I retract my offer? She's not giving him a moment to breathe. S sorry, Lady Ningguang. My assignment was just to follow you, I promise, that's it. When you showed up unannounced at Northland Bank, everyone was instantly on high alert. We figured you must be up to something, but your brief conversation left us none the wiser as to your intentions. We couldn't just overlook it. We had to get to the bottom of it before we could put our minds at rest. Are they really discouraged against you? I know they're weary of me, but this is still an overreaction, surely. This all feels very suspicious. There must be more to this than he is letting on. Hmm. I only took you there to demonstrate how tense things are. Somehow we only tested the waters, but ended up with the catch of the day. Is there anyone else following us besides you? Yes. They would have seen this and reported back. Then we need to get moving. The longer they have to react, the fewer clues they'll leave behind. Don't you need more evidence? No time. I'll just have to improvise. Keep him with you. Do not let him slip away. Okay. Suspicious person. If you move, I will break your kneecaps. That's gone. Uh, are you saying that Ningguang hasn't done anything? Impossible. She wouldn't have shown up here out of the blue without good reason. Keep investigating. We must ascertain her intentions. So much commotion. This must be an important meeting. <sighs> oh, great. Uh, it looks like I wasn't supposed to be privy to the contents of this particular meeting. This simplifies things. So, you are here to investigate us after all. Where did you get wind of this? That doesn't matter. 
What matters is that I made a brief and inconsequential visit, and your first reaction was to immediately arrange a sizable surveillance operation with myself as the target. You couldn't have advertised your guilty conscience more clearly if you'd tried. You may as well come clean. You know I will not turn a blind eye to any violation of the rules in Liyua Harbor. <sighs> Even if we cooperate with her investigation, she's bound to find problems even where there are none. Well, if you're such a stickler for the rules, you can carry out your investigation by the book. The Northland Bank has no obligation to cooperate, even with a member of the Liyue Chising. Fine by me. Then I'll take my time. But you'll be begging to tell me everything by the time I'm through. Damn. No one wants to have to go up against Ningguang. Let's be real. She would have just, like, slammed the doors open to just make an entrance. Man, that, uh, finishes up Ningguang. Five more left. I wish this path... I wish this path went on longer so we could see what they were up to. I think they were just scared. Oh, Layla has six. Nice. Well, let's start with Kuki. Oh, wait, I don't have any keys. I don't have any keys, so we can't do any more hangouts. Ah. Dang. Okay, so we're we caught up on like uh, the events that have happened. Uh, we've done all of the other. We've done a lot of other stuff. We got on a, uh, a hangout, but we don't have any more keys to do more. Yeah, I'm gonna do like daily commit. I'm gonna have to start playing Genshin, like just daily, so you get like the basic stuff done. I can't really think of what else to do for now. I'll take elegance. Yeah. Uh, huh. I might just end stream early tonight. Yeah, since we don't have anything else to do, really. I mean, I do have world quests we can still do. Yeah, let's do some Inazuma stuff. Real quest. Oh, we'll, okay. We'll start with this one, which uh, I have been eyeing this one for so long. I think I just need to know what's happening here. Oh, 
following me. Hey, what up, guys? You up to no good? Know your place. Squall and fury. That's far enough. How many there are you? Bow your head. Y'all gotta get tired of doing this. Ellie's besieged. Squall Fury. Not gonna change that fact. Okay, game. Fine. What's up, man? Oh, I guess I do have to take these guys out. Now can I get up there? The wind rises. Ease. Nope. Okay, we gotta do this. Quit following me. Back to the side of the ship. Save your life. What do you mean we're humiliating? He's talking about himself, Paimon. To think that I had to be rescued by outlanders. I was even reduced to being judged by them. Oh, so Mr. Samurai, are you alright? His hat is too big. I mean, it's, they're kind of meant to, like, cover the eyes. Well, his pride has certainly hurt. Oh, Kaminari. Oh, yeah. I have your debt, Outlander. Also, you fought commendably. Kyle Leston, pleased to meet you. you. Don't look down your nose at me, Outlander. Inaba, Tusaburo, Kyuzu. Just call me Kyuzu. So, who are those people? They're pirates. They have many strongholds around Azuji Beach. Bugs. Out of work miners and fishermen. Fugitives running from the Vision Hunt Decree. Deserters from both sides of the war. Sometimes they gather into groups and de generate into bandits and pirates. They try, in vain, to escape the control of Her Excellency. Whether you call them vagrants or kairagi. They are all lawless thugs. We had been up suppressing them for a while until the rebels destroyed the ward on, this on the island. The refugees of Tatara Suna, the mine, fled in quick succession. Some of those rats scurried off this place, swelling the ranks of these pirate gangs and making them more reckless. That group of pirates just now came from the camp in the south, and they had their eyes on the cargo on board. Fortunately for them, I ruined their plans. <laughs> so this isn't your ship, then? This thing? This thing belonged to the Sanganomiya rebels. I'm not so sure myself. Either way, when I came, it was already deserted. 
so I've stayed and lived in it like a hermit crab till now. <laughs> it's been a long time since I spoke so much. How exhausting. If you don't mind, I will need your help with something. Once my wound is healed, I will surely return the favor I owe. I need you to help me clear out the nearby pirate camp that I mentioned earlier. It's the only thing, it's the only way to stop them from coming back here and bothering me like a pack of stray dogs. I might even send what the other pirate camps a message so they don't get any ideas. It'll also help me see, let me see what you can do. How about it? And a piece of cake. <laughs> Seems you are fond of talking big. By the way, Outlander. Don't get too excited. Miss a step and you might break your leg. How far? Oh, wow, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Glad in there. Almost there. Why did my my game just minimize there for some reason? Uh, everything Thank was futile. Lovely. I love I love when my computer just like minimizes my game for no reason. Ah. 
better. Sorcerer Sword, Path of Precious Sword, False Ideals, Mom of the Ballad, Harkin, Creed Free. Mind the side effects. As it was meant to be. A perfect game, no flaws. <laughs> You've returned. You should have peace and quiet for a while. Huh. The atmosphere has got weird all of a sudden. Uh, Amsterdam, I must apologize for asking you, outsider, to do my dirty work. Is your wound better? I've used up all the medicinal herbs I had. I have run out of herbs to dress my wound, but it is still quite inflamed. Please. You needn't worry about me. I can hold on. You sure, buddy? Like, we can just... The camp's like a hike away, but we can get you back to like... Something to help you. Take care of your own business. Go. You're such a kid. Huh? What did you say? We're talking about you. You're acting like a child. You're clearly in a really bad way, and you look like you're about to cry for help, but still you're acting like a tough guy. You're not honest at all. Only kids do that. And don't forget, Mr. Kiyuzu. Mr. Kiyuzu, you still owe us. Huh. You too. In that case, please find some Naku weed for me. We found everywhere on this island. Full leaves are the best. The liquid can be squeezed out and applied to the wound to reduce inflammation. That's all. I have to go take a nap now, so leave me alone. Will this be enough? I got plenty of extras. It'll take a long time to mash the herbs into a paste. You can go now. No, don't get me wrong, I'm not driving you away. Come back after a while. It's good to have someone to chat with. I understand. Take care, Outlander. Alright, well, wait till the next day. It's at like 10 o'clock, right? Outlander, how have you been? I apologize. This is no place for guests. Still, I'm glad you could come. You look much better now. All thanks to you. I am, once again, I am in your debt. <laughs> Isn't it a pity that I survived yet again? Isn't that a good thing? Why is that a pity? What's next for you? I haven't made up my mind about what to do next, but I don't think I'll go back. Kujo Mas Masahiro is not a bad person, but his old man is calling for deserters to be caught and punished. I can't afford to get him on the wrong side of him. Was that the was that the original guy in charge of the Kujo clan? Buddy, I think you're a... F How long have you been out here? Maybe I'll take off my armor. It's been nice living alone here. Until we have peace, there's no point deceiving myself. 